Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Workflow email notification, which will be sent to the approval, OK. So if you are keeping the workflow email configuration here, say blank, what will happen? SAP has a standard template email notification template. So that email notification template will be sent to the approval. Okay. That the workflow has been requested has been initiated. It is requested your approval that a standard template will be there that will be sent to the approval. If you are not selecting anything from here, but if you are selecting anything from here, OK, from the drop-down list, then what will happen? Whatever is the custom workflow email notification which the customer has figured, of, which the implementation partner has configured that template will be sent to the approval OK. So, for example, the same requirement we were having one year back, where customer has came up with a request that whenever an employee is getting terminated, manager will get a notification. In the workflow manager will be getting a notification to that workflow. So manager will approve it. But when manager will approve it, manager also has some key activities which has to be performed as a part of termination. But what happens? Manager generally keeps all generally for goods, those activities, and that is also getting affected using the offboarding process. So to avoid that, to maintain the process, what customer came? Customer come to us and told that they have prepared a checklist. They have prepared a document. Okay. And that document has to be sent to the manager before the manager approves it and after that manager can. When the manager is about to approve, manager can see that notification. Sorry, that document, what? This is the checklist which he has to perform after that termination has been done. Then manager can able to approve it. Okay. So what we have done? We have a configuration tool that is called as a document generation tool. So, with the help of a document generation tool, we have created the custom workflow email vertical configuration. That is a template and we, after creating it, we added those template here and we get this option here and whenever we are creating a workflow, whoever is the approval for that approval. If the custom template has to be sent because we have to give the checklist, this is the checklist means handing over the process of the page. This is all this mentioned in the checklist. So that will be sent to the manager. When the manager receives a notification for the management, we will see that checklist before approving that action of termination. So in that case, if you are keeping it blank, it will be sent as a standard template. If you are selecting from the top down, it will be sent as the custom email template, OK. Is it clear? OK. So then that is only applicable when you want to create a custom email template. OK. But as a part of our workflow, but even though the default one also. Where can we? Default. One has been the standard one is the standard one. So if they want to have a separate one where, which has to be sent from the HR admin site so they can able to use and create this custom. My question is, where can you see that standard with input, you're saying, and if we can see it in a safe system? Yeah, in a safe system only, 
in the success factor system only we have another one figure should do what you are saying. The standard one. Yeah, the standard, the standard one we can standard, one we can see in the. You have the email template notification which I just shown you in the introduction to mastery. Okay. Yes, some default. You said by user something. Yeah, yeah, I do it. Yes, yes okay. Yes, yes. So if customer don't want to utilize that one, they want to have a separate one, they can use the document generation tool. Okay. So that is one thing which. But if you want to have the customer first we have to configure it and we have to do the mapping. Then only it will be showing in the workflow email configuration drop down list. Okay. Okay, so now it is showing something as a metadata link, which has been a which is a customer somebody has created. So that is the thing it is showing here. Okay. So if you are keeping its blank, means whatever, this is the standard one that will be same. Okay. So, while setting up the workflow, these are the important what you call head headings, which we need to focus, approve a type, and the approval role is the mandatory one where we need to go and select. We have seen the role, the dynamic role, the dynamic role, how it will there. So it if you have a proper understanding as a support consultant. Also, there are some requirements which comes where the workflow is not getting triggered to a particular user, why that user is not getting the notification. So to investigate, first of all, what is the workflow? How the workflow is being configured? What are the types? The pullover types which has been taken go into the approval type. Is the user is a part of that approval type or not? That we can only check if we have a proper understanding of all the approval types, how and where it has been configured. Okay. So now we have seen for the dynamic group, for the dynamic role, for the role. Okay. So even for the role. Also, if the if the user is not getting, we need to check the proper email ID is valid or not, employee is active or not. Okay. That is one thing. Okay, if it is a part of, if if it is a dynamic group, then we need to check that user is a part of dynamic group or not. Okay. If it is a dynamic role, we need to check that user under the dynamic role. What is the approval type? Is that 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 approval type the user is mapped to the approval type under the dynamic role or not? So that will help us to go for the investigation and to explain to the customer that this is a reason why the workflow is not been triggered for that particular user for the approval. Okay. So this is about the high level explanation which we have drawn in the today's session. So, similarly, when I go into this, all we have done for the approval. Okay. Now when we go into the contributor. Also, although we can see in a real time, the approval sections will be there and the CC role will be there. They will always keep the contributor part. They are not keeping the contributor. But in the contributor, what are the additional part which we can see? The person. Okay, goal, dynamic goal, dynamic group position. All these things are coming from the approval only. But the new one is the person. Okay. So if, contributor, if you can specify any, somebody has a person, we can able to select that person from the list here. Okay, from the list here. Okay. 
That is possible. And that is coming under the contributor. If we are going into the CC role. Okay. Now in the CC role, when you go and see role, dynamic goal, dynamic group person will be their position and additionally we can see external email is there. Okay. So when you click on external email means somebody you want to include in the CC role where which is outside the success factor system. So that also it which is possible when you want to include somebody with the help of an external email. Okay. That is also possible. Okay. So this is the basic understanding and the difference between the approval contributor and the CC role. Okay. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rate